In this video, we're going to look at four examples dealing with series and sequences. Um, for the first one, the directions are to find the sum of an infinite series. Okay, so in order to find the sum of an infinite series, I think we better hope that it's a geometric series. Okay, most likely it is. Um, in this example, we have to identify that, and you can see that uh, usually by recognizing that something's being raised to a power, right? Here you can see that these guys are all powers of 8, right? 8 to the first, 8 to the second, 8 to the third, although this guy doesn't have any number under there, but if I can recognize that's 8 to the 0, that's pretty helpful. So the first thing I do is realize that it's geometric and write it as such. Okay, and, and we had some practice with that, so sometimes it's a little trial and, trial and error. So if you plug in n equals 0, you should get this first term 1. Plug in n equals 1, you get the second term, and so on. Okay, so what we know about infinite geometric series is long as this guy, which we call it R, is less than 1, then I can figure out what that infinite sum is. And... We have a nice little, real simple formula for that. 1 over 1 minus r. In this case, that's 1 over 1 minus 1 eighth, or 1 over 7 eighths, which gives us 8 sevenths. So we just added an infinite amount of numbers together and got a number just over 1. All right. Next problem. So like I said, we'll be in this video, sequences and series. This is a sequence, okay? It's asking us to find the 20th term and write the general term for what we have, uh, 19, 13, 7, and so on, okay? So, again, recognize the pattern. You'll notice that you're taking 6 away from each term, right? 19, that is the common difference, is negative 6. And first, we have to recognize what type of sequence it is okay so arithmetic sequence has the form the nth term is the first term plus the um, previous n times d okay so the nth term in this case would be the first term which is 19 plus n minus 1 times the common difference negative 6 that is the general term or the nth term once we have that, we can find the 20th term pretty easily. 19 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 times negative 6. And all I have to do now is figure out what 19 minus 19 times 6 is. Okay, so 19 times 6, 54. Okay. Five. Uh, that should be 104, negative, so the calculator would be helpful here, All right, so 114, so 19 minus 114 should give us a value of negative 95, okay? That is the 20th term. It makes sense it's negative, right? Because each time you're getting smaller, smaller, and smaller. So eventually you're going to be uh, in the negatives. Okay, good. Next up is uh, find the sum of the infinite series. 7 plus 7 thirds plus 7 over 9 plus 7 over 27. So again, we better hope that if we're finding the sum of an infinite series that we're going to have a geometric series, which in this case it looks like it is. You have this common uh, multiple of 7. So it's always going to be 7 up top. And what's happening in the bottom? It looks like we're raising 3 to the nth power. Okay. So that's my first guess. And then I kind of check it. If n's 0, I get 7. If n's 1, I get 7 thirds. If n's 2, I get 7 ninths. Okay, so that looks like it's going to work. So... Again, there's a couple ways to, to think about this. Uh, our, we have a form that says 1 over 1 minus r, or a over a times 1 
over one minus r. What you can do, since this guy isn't being raised to a power, here's how I like to handle it. You don't really have to do it this way. If I can just get my, really see my geometric series if I do it that way. Remember, 1 over 3 to the n is the same thing as 1 third to the n. So I can really see that value of r. So that's just 7 times 1 minus, 1 over 1 minus r, which in this case is a third, which is 7 times 1 over 2 thirds, which is 7 times 3 halves, which is 21 over 2. Okay. Finally, the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 13. So a sub 3 is 13. Uh, we know it's arithmetic, so that tells us that it's the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, and actually I know what n is. n is 3. Okay. The fifth term, no, the sixth term is 31, which is the first term plus uh, 6 minus 1 times d. So that's the given information. So what can I do with that? That's 13 equals a plus 2d, and that's 31 equals a plus 5d. We can solve for a and d, right? This is a system of linear equations, essentially. So how do we do that? Um, I'll multiply the first equation by negative 1. There's a couple ways to do this one. And then I'll add them together. I'll kind of do it all at once just to save a little bit of time. So that would be negative 13 and 31 is 18. Of course, the a's would cancel out negative a and positive a. And this would be a negative 2d added to a 5d, which is positive 3d. So it allows me to find the common difference, which is 6. And then I can find the first term by picking either one of these original equations. 13 equals a plus 2d. 12 and that'll allow me to find the first term which is 1 okay once I have that I can write my general rule for the arithmetic sequence the nth term is the first term which is 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference which is 6 All right and now I can find the fifth term a sub 5 is 1 plus 4 times 6 which is equal to 25.